Hey Hoopers! This is my tutorial for a Vortex jump through, which will look either jumping out like this or jumping in like this. And that can be done um, with either hand. You're going to want to be comfortable with, um, with doing a Vortex and also wouldn't hurt to be comfortable with a one-handed vortex, just in that you're um, you're more set with like strength and the way you need to hold the hoop, and um, so you're more comfortable with both hands. So um, anyway, when you're jumping into a vortex, basically you have two options um, depending on which way your grip is. So I think ideally, your um, the easiest solution is to be We'll start with just the right hand, because this works on either hand. Um, coming around from the back with our palm facing up, and um, I'm holding the hoop underneath. So I'm going to come around, and what I'm going to do is lean over as if you're going to do one of these. Um, so bring it up so that your, the, your grip switches from being um, with your forearm facing up, comes around to the outside to the hoop, there's you, your, the hoop is between your hand and yourself, and now the top of my forearm is um, facing up and I have an overhand grip. And it's at this coming in point that I'm going to jump in. And then from here, this is kind of where you end up in a one-handed vortex, when the hoop's down here. So you just work your way up, switch your grip at the top, and there you go. Just like that. Um, the other way of doing this is to start overhand. And it's the same motion, you just have to, it's slightly more awkward only because where you don't have to switch your grip or anything, you end up with a weird, it just kind of feels differently. But anyway, you can go into this with your hand over the top like that and then bring it up. So it's all about what works for you. And um, also on the left hand, obviously, overhand like this, we're going to come in, grab and go up, spinning it. To the right, and we use our left hand, and um, underneath, same kind of deal, just like that. So that's actually a lot easier for you on this. You just have to switch your grip. Um, okay, so now jumping out of it, I'm going to start my left hand. I mean, my right hand above my head, like I'm going into a vortex, and take it down. I guess that was my left hand. It doesn't matter, you can do it either way. Honestly, you can do it however you want. Um, this is just a horizontal transition outward, basically. So you can do it as whatever hand in whatever direction you want with the vortex, but essentially it's the same thing where, like right now I have my right hand, I'm gonna grab, come down, and then when the hoop is about at my knees, um, I'm just gonna step out and continue around. Um, and then with the left hand, it comes down to my side, just like in a one hand, in a vortex or in a one handed vortex. And then I'm just going to push it out and jump out. So the trick with um, staying smooth with these uh, vortex, well, then you jump through, is to, um, is to be delicate when you land. You don't want to like slam down and like, um, you know, it's going to cause your body stress as well. You really want to absorb that. So I find it easier to go really slowly with, um, with jump throughs. And then try to land. I usually will jump out one leg and then the other. So it's more of like, it's not just both and slamming down. It's like a little like step kind of thing. So absorb that shock with your, um, your feet, ankles, legs and um, bend with it and go with it. So just an overview really quick. Um, jumping out like this, and then you can simultaneously, or I mean not simultaneously, right afterwards, take the same hand and jump back in if you want to and go up. And you can do this a million different ways, really experiment with what moves flow to you. Um.